Can you tell me something specific you've done to make sure that people aren't taking babies for their their parents' ideology? They are not doing that. What did you say? ShireSociety.com Are you on the Oversight Committee? Yes. I have a question for you. Can you tell me what, if anything, you've done from your position of power to make sure there's never another Oath Keeper baby incident at, at DCYF? Do you remember what I'm talking about? I'd prefer not to answer. I am also a CASA. I work very hard on these issues, quite frankly. Can you tell me something specific you've done to make sure that people aren't taking babies for their, their parents' ideology? They are not doing that. What did you say? We do have a now, so I guess she's been to every single DCYF interaction with every single parent. <laughs> are you with the uh, DHHS Oversight Committee? Uh, yes. You're, are you a rep? No. Uh, DHHS? Yes. Which department? Division of Family Assistance. I'm oh, okay. here to talk about the community services block grant, nothing exciting. Oh, okay. Well, I do, I do have a question for you. Uh, to what extent is that division connected with DCYF? Um, well, DCYF is an entirely different division. Also, I see. Both are under the Office of Human Services. Oh, okay. That's all I need to know. Okay. Don't have any questions for you then. Thanks. I mean, other than that one. Hello. Are you with DHHS? I am. Uh, question for you. Uh, what, are you the DHHS I'm proper or one of the subdivisions? I'm sorry. I have a committee that I have to attend to, but thank you very much, sir. All right. What's are you state rep on the DHHS oversight committee? Uh, yeah. Uh, question for you. I've I got to get I'm late. Oh, we can talk and walk. <laughs> Is there anything you're doing from your position of power to make sure that there's never another Oath Keeper baby incident? You remember what I'm talking about? Um, you know, really, I'm not on the committee. Oh, okay. Really You're just a state rep who's going. I see. All right. Well, thank you. Take care. So it's raining now between the legislative office building where I am and this in front of me, which you see the state house. And normally, what people would do is, you know, be a, there'd be a lot of traffic uh, going across the street. Not necessarily on a day like today, which is kind of slow, but people would cross because it's very convenient to do this instead of going down underneath through the tunnel and no one wants to go all the way around the state house they just walk straight up towards it right and here I am walking straight straight up towards it and wait a minute wait just a minute this is a source of frustration and grievance and no one's gonna hear me but That's about all I can do to raise my concerns. However, there is an, a defibrillator that I can get to if I can get to it, which I can't because... Oh well, even if I were having a heart attack, I'm sure I would be able to go the long way and walk around here and off to the left and oh my god oh, of course these are what we call new hampshire problems it's much better than uh most state houses still at least we don't have metal detectors what we do is have is me stuck out here in the rain until i can get all the way around the building also i do actually have some other state house news related to state house security and that is that uh Randy Joyner, who uh, ran the uh, State House Security, uh, has fallen ill and uh, is no longer on duty. And he's been replaced by a guy whose first name is Joe. I don't remember his last name. I've seen him, you know, many times. And he's uh, he seems to be very laid back and a uh, nice guy, the same way that Joyner is. And hopefully Joyner will get better. But uh, if he doesn't, then... The, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> if he doesn't, then the the uh, uh, the endeavor seems to be in fairly good hands. 
uh, State House security. They've mostly been pretty nice folks over the years. There's apparently been talk of closing the tunnel that leads from the State House to the Legislative Office building, which would mean there would be no direct route to get from one to the other. Everybody would have to go around to the front uh, every time. But that was apparently nixed for now. But you gotta you gotta watch these uh, folks. I think this is mostly, uh, I'm not sure exactly who to blame for this. Uh, the old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan and a history of action. He didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at shiresociety.com.